Vaheguru Ji Ka Khalsa, Vaheguru Ji Ki Fateh. Today I am with Gurinder Paul Singh and I am with Simran Kaur and uh, we are um, here at Seva's um, Film Festival. And I just, uh, just to, if you could introduce yourselves a little bit. Um, yeah. Okay, my name is Gurinder Paul Singh. Yeah. Originally I'm from Amrissa. Oh. I born in Amrissa near Golden Temple. Okay. So last 22 years I moved here and staying in New York. And mm -hmm. she's my wife, Simranjit Kaur. My name is Simranjit I run New York City Marathon last 22 years. Oh and my God. Yes, and last... Every year? Uh, yeah, every year. <laughs> I'm a first okay. uh, Amritari Sikh. Wow. And uh, second thing, last six years, we organize our own 5K runs. In Queens was Haki 5K, oh, and yeah. Long Island was Haki 5K run. For our kids, our youth to protect there, and uh, we, I want to our kids being a healthy, no go for yeah. drugs or another thing. That's why sports is the best thing. Yeah. And uh, second thing, originally I'm karate instructor too. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm a fifth degree black belt from Japan. Wow. And last 35 years I'm the uh, president of Indian Karate Federation. This is called Okinawa Gozuru Karate Do Association of India. Wow. More than 10,000 students I have in India. And everybody knows about Bruce Lee. And yeah. Bruce, Bruce Lee and my grandmaster, uh, Master Lee Kim Kwan, they raised together oh my goodness. in Hong Kong. Wow. Yes. <laughs> so in America, I came in 1997. Then mm -hmm. I organized a Sikh Gurmat camp in New York. I'm the first person who started the camps in New York. Oh, what's the name of the camp? Uh, camps uh, like uh, uh, Chardigala camp, Sikh camp, oh. Gurmat camp, martial art camps, I started. And uh, between these uh, years, uh, uh, New, uh, New Mexico also, Harpajan Singh oh, Chogi, yeah, yeah, yeah. I went there every year to organize and uh, teach their kids or adults also. So I'm doing these lot of things. And in between, my third passion is a writer. I'm a historian writer. I wrote several books. And one of my books, uh, world famous battle, Saragadi, the epic battle of Saragadi. Uh, in 1997, mm -hmm. I found 19 families out of 21 Sikh soldiers who sacrificed their lives in the Battle of Saragadi, world famous battle. Oh. Only 21 versus 10,000. Oh. This is the main of our things, but we don't highlight. This is the, our yeah. main forgotten battle. And we, we saw the uh, Hollywood movie 300. But our sacrifice is more than, but we don't highlight our things. Mm -hmm. So in India, Hollywood, uh, Bollywood, they make a Kesri movie based on my book, Akshay Kumar's movie. After 1997, I found 19 families. 2017, I make a first time 21 portraits of those Sikhs. Mm -hmm. Beca because before we never have any picture yeah, of those no things, way. yes. Now India or um, in England worldwide we have 18 galleries of 21 Sikh soldiers. And next thing I did, I feel proud of this thing. I went to the original battlefield of Saragadi battle. This is the base occurring between Afghanistan and Pakistan border. Mm -hmm. After 122 years, I'm the first person who went there first week of July last month, two months ago, last month. Yeah, and yeah. I, I unflare the first Nishan Sab of that place. Now I'm building the first Gurdwara of in Dara Khabar area. That is the name Gurdwara Saragadi Singh Sabha in Hangu. Hangu is the uh, placed on the 43 kilometer of the original battlefield of Saragadi. And in ba Saragadi place we uh, putting over there nine feet khanda where is the original battlefield site and this uh, thing within one or two months we can complete this our project yeah. and second thing we making over there is Saragari garden for our kids or uh, our future so that is the I'm um, simple thing I'm doing <laughs> a little bit just a little, <laughs> just a little. that's so impressive I and one more thing yeah. I uh, do one thing we, this year we're celebrating 550 years yes. of Guru Nanak Sahib Ji, the Prakash Divas. And uh, Guru Nanak Sahib's first companion is a Pai Mardana Ji. Yep. But no one do anything for Pai Mardana Ji generation. Yep. I found 18th family and 19th generation of Pai Mardana Ji. Then I make a new organization, Pai, Rababi Pai Mardana Foundation. 
and now we doing next Saturday on 31st August in Mankana Sahib, first Kirtan Darbar of Rababi Pai Mardana Foundation dedicated to 550 years. And this event, three generations coming over there, Sai Miya Mirji, who, who is the person who uh, did the foundation stone of the Darbar Sahib Amrissa. And second families is coming, 18th generation, 18th, 19th generation of the Rai Bularji. You know the Rai Bular or not? I'm a little <laughs> yeah, familiar, but yeah. <laughs> okay. And th third generation is coming over there by, uh, by Mardana. So this is, I'm doing little bit small things about Sikhi or Sikhi. <laughs> that is not a small thing. <laughs> that, like, the impact of that is so tremendous. Like, I... I'm like I'm still trying to process what you even said because you are working with kids and which and you're working um, you in film and just have I feel like you have a toe in every <laughs> like aspect. <laughs> and one more thing I tell you a little bit if you heard about the city Himkun Saab mm -hmm. in course, India. Of course. Yeah, I wrote a book Himkun Saab also, okay. and I did uh, 1988 first cycle tour to Amritsar to Himkun Saab. No one did after or before. I'm the first one. That time I'm only 23 year old. And I took my 11 students in karate, from karate. And the youngest of that group, only 13 year old karate kid. And after that, 1992, 1997, I did the Nishan Seb Seva of Sapat That one is a top SD peak, 20,000 feet height. Every year I did. Okay. <laughs> Your resume must be like 10 pages long. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I just try because I think life is very short. Yeah. So you do every day something good for community, for every and for humanity. So that is the, my message for your group and your Nishkam Seva and kids also. They do something but they keep their Sikhi first, yeah. Sikhi rules. How, yeah. yeah. During the uh, living Amritsar, I started the uh, Gurdwara Saragadi Sahib Ki Tandarbar Sevak That one I started in 1987. And those, these day, those days, Bhagat Puran Singh Ji, who is the founder of Pingalwada, he guided me these things. Mm -hmm. So I learned from all things from Bhagat Puran Singh, and he told me do these things. Mm -hmm. And don't wait for another organization, they come to join you. Whatever you feel good, this is good cause. Do your, use your pocket money and do yourself alone. Don't wait anyone. That is the my do. I'm doing these things. How do you keep like your sticky first? I feel like it's so hard to you know remember and remind yourself. How do you remind yourself every day to you know do the like right thing and you know what I mean? Yeah, I understand. First thing, God is one. Like you say, water, pani, agua, different thing. Water is water, right? And God is one. He create two things first. He create male and female. All females have only long hair, no beard, no moustache, right? And He create the men with long hair, beard, moustache, everything. So only in this world, Sikhs are the regional, natural man, whatever God is created. So just remember this thing. And second, my point is, all world's religion starters, you see Abraham, he wearing the turban, mm -hmm. he has long hair. Mm -hmm. You see Moses, he has a turban, long hair, yeah. he never cut it. You see the all churches, Christ have a long hair, beard, he never cut it. Yeah. So why their followers, they cut him? And you see the, if you watch Indian uh, culture, Indian religious, Shiva, Krishna, you, if you read the Tulsi Das in mind, they told Krishna also have a long hair and be beard because Keshwa means long hair. Ramchandra, they have also long hair when you see they have a Judah also and uh, Shivji also have long hair, beard, everything. So that is the, uh, I remember always and teaching them, God create whatever he create, we keep it. And uh, some people tell me, why we need cut the nail if Sikhs wearing the yeah. uh, the keeping? So that is the reason. Whatever every day we use kanga comb, 
when we using kamba all dead here from our head also go away same thing our nail our nail is up to here when nail go dead dead means they going grow that part is a dead that's why dead part we cut it we, if we cut this part we feeling pain so that is the philosophy they they have a wrong thinking so i tell to every sikh keep their hair beard forever then you getting power of guru sahib that what else thank you so much uh, for your advice for everything um you're so impressive and i like hope i really <laughs> aspire to do like even nearly as much <laughs> like a fraction so of I'm how much you've done i'm a simple person or a yeah. person nothing special i'm a simple man so every one should uh looks like me as a simple man but do everything good things for community for everyone follow your heart oh, beautiful yes. thank you very, thank you very much. much thank you thank you so much